Bardo County John Doe, 2018. Murder of an unidentified man, whose body was found floating in a lake, remains unsolved. Bardo County John Doe, also known as Alatuno Lake John Doe, is an unidentified man whose body was found floating in a lake in Bardo County, Georgia. More than four years have passed, and the person responsible for his murder has yet to be brought to justice. At approximately 5.40 p.m. on September 1, 2018, the Bardo County Sheriff's Office received a call about a body floating in the Alatuna Lake near the Bethany Bridge area of Red Top Mountain Road, according to Fox 5 Atlanta. When deputies and the Bartow County Fire Department arrived on the scene, they recovered the body from Malatuno Lake and noticed it was a male. They also saw that he had weights tied to his ankles, and there was a small boat anchor tied around his waist as well as a backpack filled with rocks and sand. It was reported that investigators are unsure how long the body was in the Alatuno Lake, but due to the rising summer temperatures, the body underwent the process of decomposition. The remains were transported to the GBI Medical Examiner's Office for an autopsy and identification, but fingerprint comparisons and facial recognition software could not identify the victim. Evidence suggested that he may be a homicide victim, as his cause of death appeared to be a gunshot wound to his right temple. DCSO spokesman SKT, Jonathan Rogers, said this is a tough case. There are no matching missing persons reports. We don't have any hard evidence as to why he was where he was, who he was with, or anything. We are hoping the public can help us out. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the details surrounding the death of Bardo County John Doe are still under investigation. Authorities have reached out to the public for help in identifying the victim, but no one has come forward with the victim's identification. The Bardo County Sheriff's Office released a composite sketch to the public, which depicts an image of what Bardo County John Doe may have looked like when he was alive. When the victim was found floating in Alatuna Lake, he was wearing a t-shirt, shorts, and black swim flippers. He is believed to be between the ages of 55 and 65, weighing about 230 pounds. There were no markings or tattoos on the body. Anyone with information regarding the unsolved death of Bardo County John Doe is encouraged to contact the Bardo County Sheriff's Office at 770-38751 or tip line at bardo.org. John D. Miller behind bars for the abduction and murder of an eight-year-old girl, April Marie Tensley. John D. Miller is behind bars for murdering an eight-year-old girl, April Marie Tensley, whose body was found in a ditch in Fort Wayne, Indiana, on the afternoon of April 1, 1988. April, who was a first-grade student at Fairfield Elementary School, was walking to her home in the 300 block of West William Street, when she suddenly remembered leaving an umbrella at her friend's house. According to the FBI, April turned around and began walking toward East Hobland Avenue, which was the last time anybody saw her alive when she didn't make it home in time for dinner. Her mother contacted the Allen County Police Department and reported April missing, which prompted a citywide search. Over 200 police officers and volunteers joined together to help search for April, 
but to no avail. April's mother told the BC 21 WPTA News that there were a lot of times where I had people say to me, you should have kept her home. You should have kept her home. You can't prison your own child. You gotta let them outside and play. On April 4, 1988, April was found dead. A jogger in DeKalb County discovered her body in a ditch, which was located on the side of a rural Spencerville road about 20 miles from her home. An autopsy showed that April died of asphyxiation. It was also determined that she had been sexually assaulted, as traces of DNA were found on her undergarments. Fort Wayne authorities searched the database for a match, but were unsuccessful. The mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Paul Helk, told Indy Star that it's one of the tragedies that happened, that you wished you could have prevented, wished you could have done something about, wished you could have helped bring the closure. In 1990, the killer began taunting the police and the Fort Wayne community. He left disturbing handwritten notes, nude photos, and used condoms on the bicycles of three girls, as well as inside several mailboxes in the area. One note read, I killed April Marie Tensley, I will kill again. Another note read, Hi, honey, I've been sick watching you. I am the same person that kidnapped, raped, and murdered April Tensley. You are my next victim. Investigators tested the condoms, and they matched the DNA that was found on April's body with newly discovered evidence. Detectives were able to release a composite sketch to the public based on the DNA profile, but it didn't bring them any closer to finding out who killed April. Investigators received a break in the case three decades later, on May 11, 2018, when a DNA sample was sent to Parabon Nanolabs, a forensics company in Reston, Virginia. Parabon Nanolabs used genealogy websites on July 2, 2018, that linked to two men, John D. Miller, then 59, and his brother. Detectives said they began staking out Miller's mobile home in Grabill, Indiana, watching his every move when they rummaged through his trash. They discovered used condoms and sent them in for testing. The results reveal that the DNA found on April's body and the DNA found on the condom matched on July 16, 2018, Miller was arrested at his home and subsequently booked into the Allen County Jail on charges of kidnapping, child molestation, and murder. He was held without bond, according to Wayne 15, while in custody. Miller confessed to killing April. He told detectives that he kidnapped her when he saw her walking on Hoagland Avenue. He then drove her to his mobile home and raped her. Miller said he decided to choke her to death so she wouldn't tell anyone what he had done. Afterward, he said he dumped her body in a ditch. The Journal Gazette reported that Miller was set to go on trial. In February 2019, but he instead took a plea deal and pleaded guilty to murdering April Marie Tensley. In December 2018, Miller was sentenced to 80 years in prison. He received 50 years for murder and 30 years for child molestation.